Like, look at all the goodies, you guys. It's like a Tetris shop of goodies. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Page Wilson. I'm a poet and I also write young adult novels in verse. And today I am going to be unboxing my NaNoWriMo survival kit. So first and foremost, I want to thank Kevin the Writer for inviting me to participate in this month's NaNoWriMo survival gift swap. I have been watching these, I think since they originated, and it's so cool to be asked to be a part of this community and this exchange, especially because I've only been making videos for a little bit less than a year. I imagine there was a lot of hard work that went on behind the scenes to coordinate everybody. And so I really appreciate all of the hard work you did in organizing this, Kevin. And for those of y'all who have seen my videos before and who are used to me sitting in front of a bookshelf, you may notice that um, we're clearing, we are cleaning up shop here. We are moving back to North Carolina from Washington state. And so the packing has immersed and I am also um, onboarding virtually at my new job and I had to wake up at six o'clock my time to be in a meeting at Eastern Standard Time and I thought you know what there's a lot going on learning a new job virtually planning a cross-country move why don't I just take the rest of the afternoon and do something fun and unbox my survival kit and so I put on my comfy sweater which you know it has a hole or two but it's doing its job it's keeping me warm and to honor the person who gifted me a very sweet box. I put on my black framed glasses and my red lips. And I really hope this isn't creepy. <laughs> but I uh, kind of got inspired by Courtney from the Courtney Project, who was my secret buddy. Courtney sent me a very sweet note, which I read off camera, just in case um, it was gonna make me emotional because I'm running on little sleep today. It was very sweet. And Courtney, I am so excited to start opening up everything that's in here. I have been watching your channel since before you started writing full time. I followed that journey and I remember the video. Um, I can't believe it was all the way back in February, 2020. That's when it was uploaded. I remember the video of you, you know, getting like tearing up in your car and being so excited. And um, I appreciate that you shared that journey. I was so excited uh, for you and so proud of you. And so, um, yes, I've been a big fan of your videos for a long time. Thank you so much for taking the time to to, you know, put this together for me. And it is excellently packed, y'all. Like, excellently. As somebody who is now packing up my entire house, I appreciate things like this. And Courtney, I also watched your 2020 video and you said that um, you received your package from Camille and Camille had taken the time to wrap everything up. I also had not wrapped everything up for my secret buddy this year. So um, next time I step it up <laughs> because this packaging is beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna open up the first package. So the first thing in my swap survival package is a four pack of sheet masks. And the first one here is rosehip. And that is actually my favorite skincare ingredient. I put rosehip oil on my face every night. So I'm really excited to try these out. I have it on my list actually. I'm currently reading, or on my list, on my to-do list today, I'm reading Matt Bell's Appleseed. And we're this close to finishing. I've started reading it out loud to my boyfriend. And so once I finish my packing duties for the day, this baby's going on my face and I'm pouring a glass of wine and I'm gonna finish that book. I'm gonna have soft, supple skin, thanks to you, Courtney. I am so excited. One of the things I have stopped kind of treating myself to, I'm um, just trying to be budget conscious while we're planning a move, is candles. But you guys, candles are so nice to have as a reader, as an author. And so Courtney, thank you so much. You guys, look at this candle. It's vanilla latte and it's got a lid like a reusable coffee mug. It smells so good. It does, it smells just like coffee. Thank you, friend. I really appreciate this because uh, I am candleless at my house right now. And so uh, this is gonna be so nice. This is gonna make reading and writing so much more enjoyable. So Courtney also sent um, a pack of white sage smudge sticks. And the very first two things on the back of the package um, for some ideas that it recommends when it's gonna be really appropriate for you to do a smudge ritual are when you're moving or when you're beginning a new job. So I don't know how you knew Courtney, but this is much appreciated. 
I have a guess. <laughs> I have a guess based on um, the unique shape of this, uh, this little trinket. I have a guess of what this could be. Look at this beautiful rose quartz. This is lovely. Thank you, Courtney. You guys, I have, um, we inherited um, a statue of Buddha from an old roommate and I keep the statue in my bedroom and his hands are kind of folded in a sitting position in his lap and that's where I place lots of rose quartz. So um, this stone is definitely gonna have a good home with the rest of our rose quartz in our house, in our bedroom. So thank you, Courtney. This is a really hefty, like beautiful piece. Okay, here's another really triangular, uniquely shaped piece. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna have to edit out all the singing parts. Calcite. Oh, I wonder I wonder if this is honey calcite because it almost, oh, I should have showed y'all the rose quartz up close, huh? You guys, literally, I don't know. You might be able to see it in my other videos, but I have orange and honey calcite. Usually that's right here on this bookshelf. This is so neat. I appreciate this so much. You guys, there are so many trinkets. I am so spoiled. Courtney, this is this is really phenomenal. Thank you. It's kind of in the same vein. Oh, it already smells good. In the same vein as the sage, there's some Palo Santo too. And what I really like here is that it mentions that it's sustainably harvested. That's something that I'm really trying to be conscientious of, is making sure that any natural elements that I bring into my home, I'm trying to be a conscientious consumer and making sure that they're ethically sourced. So I really appreciate this. It smells so good. And it's really nice to know that uh, I can bring this to my new space and that it was gifted by a friend. I think that that carries even, even more positivity. All right, we've got this little slender rectangle. So these are gel, gel nail strips. And honestly, honestly, this is another one of those things that like on a moving budget, I was like, you know what would be so fun if I could like get my hair done and my nails done before they move. But then I was like, no, that's not necessary. Like don't spend money on things that aren't necessary. But now I get to treat myself to these gel strips and I'm gonna look so fancy typing and going through all my new onboarding documents. Courtney. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's a whole tarot deck. Chris and the light the light seers tarot. I almost said light sleepers because uh I like I said, I woke up pretty early for work. This is so strange. I literally packed up my tarot deck this weekend. So it's in some box somewhere. Oh, look at the art. I wonder I wonder if Chris Ann, I'll, if I can find this, I'll leave this link down below, but I wonder if Chris Ann is also the visual artist. Look at how pretty that is. That's the artwork for the fool. These are really beautiful. Like look at the moon. Look at how pretty two of cups is. These are really special. Oh, look at the look at look at the energy he's bringing. This is the Knight of Cups. Look at all right. <laughs> these are really cool. And you know what's funny is that I actually um because mental health is important. I have a therapy meeting or session. I have a session with my therapist today. And sometimes we'll use tarot during my sessions. Um, my therapist is really into art therapy. And she includes the tarot in that. And her name is also Courtney. And so I'm going to show Courtney the tarot cards that I got from you, Courtney. And I'm sure she's going to freak out. She's, we're both going to be very excited. Courtney, I swear it's like you knew. <laughs> like you can intuit something. Something is going on. So this is a pack of body lotion and chapstick. And literally I almost debated putting on red lips today because it's getting really cold in central Washington. And I was like, girl, your lips are a little chapped. Like you really shouldn't be hitting it up with the red lip. But now I've got chapstick to help heal myself once I take my makeup off to prep for my face, ma face mask later. We've got some more cool witchy stuff, y'all. What is this? So this, I'm assuming I don't know if the brand is Running Press or Practical Magic, but it comes with metallic tattoos, temporary tattoos, and then it comes with, it looks like a tiger's eye and rose quartz, and then a little book of spells. How cool is that? Also, I'm totally gonna reuse all of this paper to help pack my fragile things. It's just perfect. So this is a mug. I love mugs. I know that's such a writer thing, but like who doesn't love mugs? 
it says you are a cosmic force, which is just really good messaging to have right now as there's a lot of transitions going on. These little socks that have Snoopy and he's wrapped up like a little mummy. This is really embarrassing and I don't even know if this is gonna make the final cut, but I am currently wearing two pairs of socks because like I said, it's getting chilly. And uh, there's a hole in the toe of one of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna upgrade right after this video is over. We have peppermint tea, which I don't know if I mentioned, but peppermint tea is actually my favorite tea. A salt lamp, y'all, a whole salt lamp. We have one in our bedroom and we have one in our living room, but we do not have one in our office space. And now we can have one in our office. <laughs> so not only were there tarot cards, but there were, here's Moonology Oracle cards. And I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used Oracle cards as much as tarot, but I'm gonna check these out. And this is by Yasmin Boland, but the artwork is by Nix Rowan, just to give credit to the artists. So it comes with a guidebook, which is gonna be really helpful. Look at how beautiful this is too. New moon in Virgo, full moon in Scorpio. This is really beautiful. So here is another nail wrap kit. And it says dream big, you guys. How sweet is that? I don't know if y'all can see, It's get, there's a little glare. But I'm so excited to be able to try these out and to mix and match them with the other ones. So here is another Oracle deck, the Cosmic Oracle, the Cosmic Journey Oracle by Yannick Silver. I hope, one, I hope I'm pronouncing that first name right. Also, that is just a cool name. The back says, calling all 21st century creators, visionary entrepreneurs, and mischief makers. On this cosmic journey, you will discover that you are the oracle and your pen is your magic wand to rewrite your past, present, and future. Each card of this oracle offers a mystical message to answer your most profound questions, a powerful journal prompt oh, that's cool. to help you dig deeper into your own answers and a cosmic action to move forward you forward on your journey. You guys, literally wait until I show my therapist. She's gonna freak. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Befriend your fear monster. Honestly, that is a really good phrase for anxiety, right? You guys, this whole, like this whole box smells like the vanilla latte candle now. Like the Palo Santo, like even though they were all wrapped individually, like this whole box smells so good. <laughs> And here is the last little trinket. This is a mindfulness journal, which honestly <laughs> is something your girl probably needs really badly right now. It says do one thing that centers you every day. Or do one thing every day that centers you. Oh look, there's Thich Nhat Hanh, everybody's favorite. So there are quotes in here. Oh, this is good. There's little, um, not quite journal prompts, but little spaces to reflect relationships I am glad fate chose for me and then friends I am glad I chose oh this is happiness is good health and a bad memory interesting this is a good one too my impossible dream how my impossible dream became inevitable so Courtney thank you so much this was so sweet and so thoughtful this was just like a little bit of Christmas and I really appreciate it. There's so much I'm excited to play around with. For some reason, like the hut, like I'm assuming this is honey calcite, I could be wrong, but like the calcite for some reason is something that's just jumping out at me. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy the candle and the face mask later and getting to play around with the different decks and to learn more about them. And I don't, thank goodness, have a 6 a.m. meeting tomorrow, but I will be drinking coffee out of this mug. So thank you again. And thank you for just being an awesome presence in the YouTube writing community in general and sharing your always really exciting progress and success with us. And again, thank you so much to Kevin. I love your videos too. I have been a fan for such a long time. So it really means a lot to be able to participate in this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.